welcome again to Kimberly and Knit for Brains. This week I'm actually doing, I'm going to call it an unboxing, but it's really more of a review on a, um, a hand-dyed yarn company that I found in doing all my research for all my different shows. And I wanted to bring it to you today. I ordered a couple skeins so we could take a look at it together um, and just kind of, you know, see what you think about it. So this company... I honestly, I was so taken by the beautiful, vibrant, colored photographs that he, that he, it's a, it's a small family. So it's a husband and wife and their two kids. And the, the husband is the one that does all of the dyeing of the yarn and things like that. Um, and he will show you this really beautiful, vibrant picture that inspired the yarn that he is dyeing. And he said everything from like nature. Um, if you have seen the movie, The Santa Chronicles, which is coming out right now because it's kind of the holidays with Kurt Russell. He's got a picture for that. He's got one for Deadpool. He's got one for Hocus Pocus. He's got some just gorgeous, gorgeous nature colors. And those pictures are so vibrant. I'm going to show you here in this video um, that I was just enthralled. So I ordered two skeins. They are based out of Canada. And if you order two or more skeins, shipping to the U.S. is free, which I'm all about free shipping if I can get it. So that's what I went ahead and did. Now, the packaging was just a plastic, you know, bag. Nothing too exciting here. Um, it didn't take very long to get it. I think I ordered it and I had it in my hot little hands in like five to seven days. Um, so, yeah, basically it shows, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's not very exciting. They're based out of Alberta, Canada. So not far up the way. Um, and the company is called Arcane Fiberworks. A-R-C-A-N-E Fiberworks. I'll include the link like I always do. Um, this one here, now he's got different weights. You can do fingerling sock weight. I think you can do like a nylon. You can do like a chunky. You can do the different weights depending on what you like to use. Um, the skeins, all of them, run $24 per skein. Okay, which isn't terrible actually if you go to some of your like smaller designer boutiques in the area they're going to be at least that much if not more and again if you buy two i got free shipping so i ordered two um and this is a fingerling weight sock so this is 80 percent merino and 20 percent nylon um it is 435 yards which is quite a bit for 24 dollars uh, and then it gives you you know like your recommended natal sizes and so forth this one is called fluorescent and it is fluorescent fall is what it's it was what it was called um, and i'm going to post a picture of the photograph that he shows as inspiration for this particular yarn so they'll show you the photograph and then they'll show you the yarn next to it gorgeous i mean i sat just and perused his website for probably the better part of an hour because i was so enthralled with the pictures and they have pictures of like glaciers and really, really does an excellent job with marketing. So um, that is why I chose to give these guys a try. Um, and I just, I liked their story. I'm all about, and I know that I do, I know that I bring you a lot of stuff that's on Amazon or I say go to Michael's or go to Joanne's or, you know, your local whatever. So I know that that, that mass market has its place, right? I mean, it's, it's the affordable choice to go for many of us. Um, it's readily available. I mean, Amazon is just right there and I get that, but I did in a past life have a small store. So I, I do understand and I really do try to honor the shop small. Okay. Especially now during the holiday times. And if you're watching this, you know, like right now, this is right between, this is right before Thanksgiving and into Christmas. So, um, I really wanted to just mention about shopping small during this time of year, it's very, very easy to get caught up in like, I can go to Amazon and get everything I need or go to the mall and get everything I need. But especially during these times and especially even through COVID, a lot of these small stores didn't make it. A lot of these small little shop owners, they didn't make it. Um, and they should, right? Yes, they do have to charge more, but they're really trying to compete and you get the craftsmanship and the quality in these stores. And you also get that personalized attention and maybe even that personalized relationship that you're not going to get in any of the big stores. So I wanted to feature these guys and I'm thinking I'm going to try to feature like a shop small segment in my channel here, just to kind of highlight some of the, the stores that, um, 
that I have bought things from. So this here is Arcane Fiber Works. This is a family run company. As I said, they're out of Alberta, Canada. It's a husband and wife and they're two small kids and they look small like five and under, maybe seven and under. And But he does a brilliant job. Look at the vibrancy in this yarn. I mean, there's these beautiful, there's blues and there's aquas and then there's like that periwinkle blue, like the purple and then we're coming into some teal and then there's even some plum. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And this one here was called Lunar Lilies and that's the name of the photograph. The photograph just popped. It was so dynamic and so bright and so vibrant that I was attracted to the pictures before I saw the yarn, if that makes any sense. So I really encourage you to go and check them out. Again, it's $24 a skein. This one here is Fingerling Weight Sock. And again, this is 80, 20 Merino and Nylon. Some of them I believe are um, a little bit larger. I think maybe they're all the same mixture of yarn. I'm not quite sure. Check out their website. Um, again, this is 435 yards. And this is called Lunar Lilies. And this one here was called Fluorescent Fall. So this is again, Arcane Fiber Works. And what I think I'm gonna do with these is, I mean, this one here, this reminds me of like a sunset. Is that not gorgeous? I mean, look at the oranges and the purples and how it rolls into like these coral pinks and even there's some fuchsia going through here. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. So what I would probably do with this is use this as like an accent yarn. Maybe, you know, you probably would have enough with 435 yards You'd have enough to do like um, maybe a cowl if you wanted to or something like that. A lot of people use this kind of uh, yarn for socks, right? Fingerling weight is typically a sock weight. But honestly, I would not want to hide these in a pair of shoes. That's just me. I would not want to hide these in a pair of shoes. Like I'd be wearing Birkenstocks just so people could see my socks. So that's just me personally. Um, I love these yarns and I would put this... I might want to weave this into a scarf that I'm doing some weaving and I might be bringing you some more weaving patterns here as we as we go through because I think a lot of people are maybe transitioning over to or bringing a, a loom into their um, their craft world um, so I'll kind of show you how I launched into that as well but these yarns are so beautiful and so vibrant um, I mean they actually they, they look pretty together but I would use this and I would have it complemented. Um, I would highlight these with more of like a solid. Maybe I would choose like maybe either a light color that would really make this pop because I'm afraid a dark something like in this periwinkle color might make this not stand out quite as much. Just kind of depends. But I would use this as a highlight accent because it's so incredibly beautiful right? Um, this one here, I would probably choose, you could choose a yellow, a sunburst color, a tangerine color in here. Um, you know, what might be pretty is because there's not that much purple running through this, it's more of those warmer colors. I think a purple of some color would really make this pop and stand out. So if I was going to weave a scarf, I would have this as my weft which is the one that goes back and forth, side to side. The warp goes up and down. So the warp I would choose is like maybe a solid color and then have this be the web. Just kind of play around with it, you know? See what, see how the yarn transitions and how it kind of comes alive and how it, it reveals itself, ooh, right? You wanna kind of see how a yarn reveals itself to you as those colors sort of pull on through. Um, but he does, I think they do beautiful work. Um, it's definitely color fast and like I said, $24 a skein is not bad and with two you get free shipping. So this again is the Arcane Fiber Works website. Um, it's arcanefiberworks.ca for Canada, but I'm going to include the link there and just some of the pictures that, um, I found just so gorgeous. I'm going to include as well so you can kind of see where I was, where I was going with this. So this is one of my shop small episodes. And who knows, maybe I'll see if I can get someone like this. Maybe we can do like a little interview video just to watch and see how he does or how they do their yarn dyeing and what their process is and things like that. So stay tuned. Comment below if you've done any Shop Small, if you have ordered from these guys before, what your thoughts are, what you would use for this, how you would reveal 
this yarn, what, what craft you would be using with this. I absolutely just love it. All right. Thanks so much again for watching. This is Kimberly with Knit for Brains, short little segment on Shop Small. And my featured store this week is Arcane Fiber Works. And like and subscribe, tell your friends about us, and I'll see you soon.